Alright, in this guide I will be talking about servos and how to program them in the basic sense and maybe touch upon how they are used in teleop. So the first thing with servos like any other thing like um, motors is that you, when you get a new robot you go to motors and sensor setup and in this case I just have a servo controller and that's it and it's in port 1 and I just named them 1 and 2 and they're standard servos standard servos have a range and I believe if I'm right it's 0 to 255 I believe and so unlike motors when you talk to servos it's all about position like motors is all about the speed and they rotate it's not the same way like you would not program a servo like we do motors and do servo bracket um, 1 because that's the name and do 100 and do a wait time and this would not make the the servo spin like motors do. This would set the motor, uh, set sorry, set the servo to position 100 for for that much t time. It would just stay still, It'd stay at that. It would go to that one position and stop. Um, continuous servos that were shown on there, they do also do positioning, but they can rotate continuously. Um, there are tricks to make them rotate to make servos rotate and I guess I can talk about that quickly is that if you were to make if you wanted to make a servo move um, move like one position for one second like constantly move one position for a whole second you would do servo oops sorry I'm bolded for some reason servo one starting at position 0 and then you would do starting at position yeah you do servo 1 is equal to servo 1 plus 1 so what that does I believe that should run yep it does um, F7, by the way, I know I've told you this, but just to get in your head, F7 is to compile it to make sure everything's right. So what this would do, if I put a wait time here, this would make the servo rotate one position, co like constantly upticking one position for a whole, um, for one whole second. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So this is just setting it to one position. Um, both methods are used. Like if you have a hand that uses servos and you want it when you click a button to increment one to like go up and when you click another button to go down you would use something along this lines. Um, moves hand up and this sets servo to position 100. So hopefully you see the difference. This just sets it to the position. This moves it up because it's telling the servo to go um, at that like different position, like constantly increment that position. Um, to when you um, first, I guess when you first get a robot, like once you get the um, platform type all ready, you want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna comment this code out because currently I'm connected to our old arm and there are two servos that are connected together so I don't want them to run against each other and for that exact reason you have to um, kinda initialize is probably the best word I can think of um, basically to get this um, up it's a debug window so you go to debugger windows and do um, external servos and so what this does right here is this tells us what the target position is what the position of the one servo is at. So if I were to click this, the servo is actually moving right now. The servo one is moving right now. So you can get a sense of like where the positions are. So if I were to go all the way to zero or all the way to, I think it should be 255, yep, to 255. These are the positions that you can use. Um, let's say if I were to run this code, 
I haven't tested this, so bear with me if this doesn't work. I believe if I were to run this code, and I'd start it at zero. Uh, and just see how it increments one. It should, however, um, let's see, if I do a while true, which we all should know what this does is that will it will run this code indefinitely so if I were to run this the theory is oh it's so small all right trick we're gonna wait time in here so we want to start it at zero so we can see this moving start see how it's incrementing every second one so this is moving the servo one every second you we hopefully we can see that because what happens is when I since it moves so quickly when I took this out it instantly went to 255 because a while loop can do that with less than a second it can go like it can loop through so many times in one second so this is telling it every second to loop through and that's different from that is different oops, sorry from this which like I said before if I were to run this it should set it to 100 and which it just did so hopefully um, this can help you get used to servos and how to use them and one of the key things is that debugger window the external servos servers <laughs> sorry servos and that is just so important to um, be able to use in servos and I recommend if you have lots of servos um, connected together you have to separate them and calibrate them because some servos are slightly off than others and make sure that all of them are in the right spot and just doing that with this um, that debug stream up is so useful so um, feel free again to mess around with this code and you don't even um, I believe you don't even need to be connected to any servos to do this in the debug um, stream it should just increment them by themselves so you can mess around with that your own at your own pace um, thank you